Hello guys, and today I want to tell you about the biggest Russian tank assault that was successfully stopped by Ukrainian armed forces. I know it may sound like the beginning of a story by your great-grandmother who lived somewhere in times of the First or the Second World War, but no, these are my Ukrainian realities. And just a war ago, I did not know any of these military terms or military tactics, but today, as the majority of my countrymen, I can explain a lot. And I'm really happy to update you on this 12 Russian tanks and 8 Russian armored vehicles destroyed in just one day because of a bad Russian plan. And I'm sure you will agree that the plan to invade Ukraine was the worst that they could have designed, and I'm sure it will lead to the end of modern-day Russian Federation. Let me share more from an ordinary Ukrainian perspective in this video. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda, fake news and their tanks on our territory. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. This Saturday, the biggest tank assault was organized by Russian invaders near Avdivka, close to the village Tonenke. They decided they can break through the front lines, get more land, but in their results they gained nothing and lost 20 vehicles. It all happened in a very hot zone of Ukrainian front lines and during a very long period uh, of, of fights and battles around Avdiivka, Russian lost there not just tens of thousands of soldiers, if not a hundred thousand of soldiers, if we take the period from September, October 2023, they've also lost lots of tanks and lots of vehicles and so on. And for a long period of time during this winter, they were mainly using uh, infantry, drones and other stuff, but somehow they've gathered another supply of uh, tanks, armored vehicles and decided to attack. And that was a huge mistake because they went against the rules of war. From what I understand, having read a lot of articles here inside Ukraine, it is logical for similar operations to first wait until mechanized units clean the territory from the enemy. In our case, it's not the enemy, it's us protecting our land. And only then tanks, armored vehicles, also known as BMPs, let me know in the comments below if it's okay, abbreviation, because that's the very similar that we use in Ukrainian. So using these tanks and BMPs, armored vehicles, they've decided to attack. And Ukrainians are very creative and loving of their motherland. And even with limited resources, with lack of supply from our allies, waiting for really long and actually losing people and losing Avdiivka because of the lack of the supply, nothing else, we decided to turn on this creativity and uh, using a very mixed tactics and instruments, we destroyed like more than one third of everything they've gathered for this biggest assault in the history of this war. So what did we do? First of all, and you have like to like, share and subscribe to this video if you're not yet a part of our community, is the level of creativity that Ukrainian armed forces used. Uh, putting fake HIMARS and Patriot systems. Yes, we don't have enough supplies, but they put this fake HIMARS, Patriot systems, distracting attention of invaders that waited, these systems will shoot at them. And in reality, it was a mixture of everything. What I mean by that, it was using anti-tank uh, anti missiles, mines, artillery, and um, they call it explosive fire, first person view drones, which means that the operator of the drone has to be present really close to the front lines to be able to target it where it is needed. But this is huge. So not having supplies, not filling 
that much support as we need, we are able to first distract attention of the enemy and then using this mixed tools burn 12, 12 Russian tanks and 8 BMPs armored vehicles. Something they hoped will help them gain more land around the village of Tonenke near Avdivka, but in their result caused the loss of vehicles. 20 vehicles for nothing. And what is also important to remember from an orc perspective, of course, it's nothing. They lose people in such situations too, because when tanks are shot and destroyed and these armored vehicles, uh, invaders start escaping and then FPVs and other drones can reach them and neutralize them. Of course, it has never been a problem for Russia to lose people. Uh, they don't care about that. Meat waves is the main tactics, but now we see they repeat this meat waves approach. Uh, what I mean by that, not taking care, not worrying about like s spending resource on uh, nothing. Uh, they repeat that even with tanks, even with armored vehicles, even with their drones. Their only tactics is that they will drown all of us, and I mean not just Ukraine, but the West, in the number of people, tanks, aircraft that they are ready to sacrifice. But no, because innovation helps, and I so much believe, and I so much believe that those who doubt, those who are over-concentrated with elections, which will have no meaning at all if Russia, Iran, North Korea and China unite and start dictating the world order, uh, when they will wake up and start supplying Ukraine and then a combination of our creativity, of our drones with your supplies can definitely end this war much faster. Because honestly, I may not be very happy to speak about tank assault. Uh, it's something that seemed totally unbelievable just a war ago, but today this is our reality. It's good that I speak about burnt tanks, but still these burnt tanks are burnt on the beautiful fields of my motherland that is meant to be the bread basket or the tourist destination or whatever, but definitely not a battlefield. Uh, and once again, I want to say that I'm proud to be Ukrainian when I see such special military operations when with limited resources we were able to burn 20 Russian vehicles, among which 12 tanks, super expensive, 8 uh, armored vehicles and many, many evil invaders. A kind reminder, any Russian can save his life by simply not crossing Ukrainian border with all of these evil plans. This was the greatest mistake of Kremlin. This was the greatest mistake of millions of those who support Kremlin. And our task is to demonstrate them the consequences. Remember to join me on Instagram, X, Threads and Discord. All the links that you need are in the description of this video. Thank you so much for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and inspiring me to work and tell you more about my beautiful country, Ukraine. We have a nice merch shop with lots of items that work well as conversation starters. But we also have, and that is the most important thing about this channel, a wonderful community of friends. So if you're new, please join. And if you are for a day or for a year or for 25 months of this war with me, I love you very much. And thank you so much for that. Slava Ukraini!